Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So here's the deal. This is a very very long haul so if you want to skip to each individual point I'll have time codes in the description whether or not you want to skip to makeup brushes or makeup stuff or jewellery or shoes or clothes or miscellaneous that's up to you but yeah if you want to skip to time codes they are in the description below but if you want to watch the whole video thank you and let's get into it shall we okay, so the first things I want to show you are my new makeup brushes Okay, so I have a lot of makeup brushes here to show you, so I'm going to skip through these as fast as I can. These are a four makeup brush set from Amazon. They cost 81, I believe, P and free shipping. Um, these blending brushes are quite sparse, but they get the job done and I do enjoy them. If you're watching my tutorials, you'll have seen me be using these. And then this um, pointed pencil brush does come in handy for things as well. So for 81P, these are great links down below everything is linked down below the next thing i got is this gorgeous mermaid fan brush off of ebay it is literally like so colorful and yep yeah, it does apply my highlights quite well i do enjoy it and again i've used this in a few makeup tutorials this cost me 99p next skipping on to some new makeup brushes these literally just arrived in the post um these are meant to be i believe the dupes for the mac brushes i'm not sure if i'm saying if, if i'm correct in that statement but these brushes are a lot shorter than my other brushes by quite a bit but i mean they're travel size so these can come in quite handy they are insanely soft and from what i can see they are not shedding anything so i'll update you on whether i like these or not in the comment section down below and these cost me £2.50 and free shipping. Another makeup brush that I got recently are these makeup brushes. These cost me £1.89, I do believe. Oh, so yeah, these cost me £1.89, I do believe, off of Amazon. I believe there are eight, one, two, three, eight, either eight in this set. The only one I don't like is this white one, as it is kind of stiff and harsh on my eyes. Um, but after a bit of washing, I believe that will tame down. This one comes with the biggest variety of brushes, including blending brushes and flat brushes and tiny liner brushes, and I really, I really enjoy this set. Last but not least, I got this double-ended brush off of eBay for I believe 99p. Um, this is perfect for when I am going like away and I don't want to have to bring all my brushes with me. I can just take this simple blending brush for a really simple eye makeup look, just blend it and then have things on yes that was only nice mp and free delivery and it came really fast hopping on a bandwagon a little bit late i picked up these silly sponges from primark i do believe from primark uh they were 50p for two the other one is on my makeup counter over there i have used it this morning and i think it applies it quite nicely a lot of people dab it i like to blend like that like i'm using my hands with this but yeah it's really clean i really enjoy these and for 50p for two I ain't gonna complain. Okay, so the next thing I got is more of a makeup brush cleaner, but it is this thing where you basically put your fingers in here and then you put soap on there or whatever and then you just swirl your brush in the different ridges, I believe. This is a dupe of, is it Sigma? And it had a massive glove like this. This was a pound off Amazon. I have it linked down below. Moving on to makeup items. I got this white powder off of eBay for £1.98 I want to say. It's just simple white powder, it does what in the tin and it came like in two days. I'll have it linked down below. I really enjoy this. Now the next two things I got as Christmas presents or birthday presents but the first thing I got for Secret Santa is this Maybelline lipstick in the shade Blackest Berry. It is their bold collection. It is 887 Blackest Berry sensational by Maybelline at New York but yeah this is given to me as a single hand present and I do thoroughly enjoy this I don't know how much it is because it was a present as I said but I'll try to link it down below the next thing I got is this Side Glass Nails X Makeup Evolution palette and if you're watching any of my videos you will know that I use this in pretty much every single makeup video and I'm wearing the colours today I use it pretty much every single day it does have 24 eyeshadows. If you want to see a full in-depth review of this palette, I'll have it linked down below. Whew. Moving on to jewellery. So this is some of the stuff that I have been either given or bought myself for Christmas or later on in the year. 
as I said, all of these are either Christmas, birthday or finds I had bought very recently. I thought I'd do a massive haul. But the first thing I got is this um, spiky kind of necklace. I was planning on selling this, but I actually quite like it. I got it for a pound from a charity shop and yeah. If I don't like it, I'll be selling this on my Etsy. So I don't know. Stay tuned for whether or not I do decide to keep it. Yeah, the next four things, yes, four things I got are from a brand called Sanguine Rose Designs. I am probably pronouncing that wrong, I can't pronounce anything, but a few of these I bought for myself and then one of them was given to me for Christmas slash birthday. Um, but yeah, so let's do the necklaces first, if I can get untangled. So I wear this in quite a few of my videos, it is just this simple raven's skull necklace, it is I believe it is steel or something of the sort. It's not real silver. Yeah, it is this gorgeous necklace. All my necklaces are the same length, but this cost me five pound off of their Etsy store. Also, I do have a discount link down below for twenty five percent off your order. It's not an affiliate link. I don't get anything out of it. It's just so you guys can get cheap jewelry. The next look, next I got from Also Sanguine. I think I'm pronouncing it wrong. Still, Rose Designs is this gorgeous necklace it is a crescent moon and a pentacle in the center i do like to wear pentacles as i am wiccan and it is the predominant symbol of my religion and i use it for protection although i don't recommend you wear symbols unless you know what that symbol means or the connotations behind that symbol otherwise just just don't the next thing i bought myself uh, is this pentacle neck necklace this pentacle bracelet i got it in the smaller size with the lobster clasp fastening but yeah it's um really jangly but yeah it's just gorgeous and this cost me five pound and so did the other two necklaces the final item i got from that brand was given to me for christmas or birthday i had asked for this and so i know how much it was and where it was from but yeah it's this gorgeous this gorgeous um, pentacle and black teardrop gems bracelet. Uh, this is a, I'm not sure what you call that kind of fastening, it is where you push the stick through the hole, like, like this, and you can untangle it. But yeah, this cost me, or no, it cost the person who bought it for me, I should say, £6.50. Okay, moving on to the more miscellaneous items, I have two pairs of fishnet tights this pair which were a pound and footless went into making this fishnet kind of under tee um i didn't like the elastic on the bottom of these so i cut it off and just looped the net down my fingers and um, this pair and another pair i've lost this pair were the i'm gonna say instagram kind of person fishnets like the, the, the thick big hole ones and then the other pair were like regular fishnets but they had spots on them I'm not sure where to put this, whether miscellaneous or in clothing, so it's going in the middle. This is my new corset, and if you were watching my recent favourites, you would have seen probably quite a few of these things. But this is a massive haul, so I was going to do it anyway. But yeah, I got this, I'm believing I'm no help going around, this corset from Burlesca for £55 in Camden Market. It is a 28 inch double steel boned underbust corset, and I had to take out the monitor panel so I could get it closed further because I trim away so much that I now need a 24 inch rather than 28. Okay so the last miscellaneous thing is this belt. Again this was in my recent favourites but it's a haul so I don't care. But yeah is this belt which I got from Camden Market for £20. I wanted to get the um, bondage belt by I believe it's Queen of Darkness but I couldn't find it anywhere so I gave in and I got this. I believe you can find similar ones at Hot Topic or online somewhere i'll try link someone down below that often like a little street seller in camden market moving on to clothes i have this gorgeous leather or faux leather um pleated skirt by Nicki minaj 8x h m but yeah i got this in a size 14 and it's a bit too big for me so i've had to take it aside which didn't hurt that much but yeah this was seven pound in the sale and it is absolutely gorgeous if you want to see me styling this i will have my ootd linked down below the next item of clothing is this awesome pentacle and pentacle ram jumper that a friend gave to me the tag says alchemy gothic but i'm pretty sure you're going to find this anymore as it's like a extremely extremely old style 
but yes one of the sleeves has this awesome kind of tenta tentacle and a word or we'll say rune design as well as the front this sleeve is bare and then on the back is just a star with the alchemy gothic logo over there uh this is in a size xl if you want to see me styling this i'll have another ootd links down below as well the next item i bought extremely recently as in a couple of hours prior to filming this and it is this gorgeous faux leather long 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 i can't even show you the bottom of it um <laughs> coat it is by a brand called neville and it cost me £6.99 in Chad shop. Um, it is an absolute bargain. It had been there for a while and I was like, mine. But yeah, it has this kind of mock turtleneck and Velcro and a zip fastening. And it is quite long and it goes down to like my mid calf. And it looks pretty cool with some of the shoes I'm going to show you in a minute. So the next jacket I got also has leather in it. It's kind of a theme in this video. But it is this denim and leather at a USA coat, although this is blue. I thought it was black. It looked black in the store where I bought it for £5 in Camden Market. But no, it's blue. So when the fabric dye comes, I am dyeing this ASAP. But yeah, it's a size 14, it doesn't have a brand, but it's got like zips on the sleeves and all over it. I think it looks kind of cool. And when I dye it, I will be DIYing this. Last but not least on the clothes is this leather. <laughs> Again, this leather skirt that I got from Select for five pound. I'm gonna say it is a mid calf, mid knee. I'm gonna say kind of skirt. It unzips all the way down and it fully opens up, so you can get it off pretty quickly, I guess, if you need to. But it has this O-ring zip toggle and elastic waistband. It is not the best quality, but for like five pound, I'm not gonna complain. It's not like a scuba material, but it is quite nice, and this looks great with a pair of fishnets and a kind of classic jumper. Now on to shoes. Now, this is the most exciting section because I have some two new pairs of shoes I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you one pair because it's easier than picking up two pairs and having to deal with that, but I got these Doc Martin dupes for my birthday or Christmas present. They're four days apart. But yeah, they are just like the Rose Doc Martens, except they're not the real ones, of course. But yes, they are extremely comfortable. They are a size too big for me, but I wear thick socks and it's fine. But yeah, these are gorgeous pairs of shoes. I have no idea where my friend got these from, or how much they cost, or anything like that. But yeah, these are gorgeous. I'll link the real Doc Martin ones down below. And I'm sure if you look on markets or online, you will find these as well. Last but not least, I have this gorgeous pair of goth shoes now you're thinking abigail where did you get them from did you get them in camden no did you get them online no i got these at the luton alternative goth market or drum roll please 10 pounds mm -hmm. 10 pounds £10, I know. I saw them and I saw the shadow sign saying shoes, £3, boots, I guess it's kind of colour boots, £10. And I was like, hmm, I'll buy the one. I had a gorgeous pair of Doc Martin like shoes like this, but they went up higher and then the sole was like, the sole was a lot thicker. But I saw these and me and a friend, we have this deal that if I didn't fit them, she's a size smaller than me. If they were too small for me, we give them to her, but <laughs> they fit me, so I bought them. But yeah, they are these gorgeous seller secondhand boots. They remind me of the Demonia Stomp, especially with this like pattern on the side. But yeah, they are these gorgeous platform heeled shoes. Um, yeah, they're just gorgeous in every single way. They are leather PVC, I guess, the front with some faux matte leather around the edges and they have these kind of buckles that get them on and they're so comfy and they're so cute and I just love them. So guys, thank you for sitting through the insanely long haul. I hope I managed to get through it quickly. If you want to see more of my face, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I post, which is now, times a week. Also, if you want to see more of me on social media, like Instagram, Gothamina, or Twitter, they're all linked down below under, I believe it is, links or social media. 
And then below that, I will have all kinds of discount codes or discount links for you guys. Some of them are affiliate and some of them are not. So just check them out and see what you like. Thank you for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe, stay dark. Bye.